Hey guys, it is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. Today is Friday the 28th of July and it seems I went to bed in Maryland and I woke up in Cambodia because it's like monsoon season right now. It's raining so ridiculously hard right now. It's, it's just a joke. Um, I'm, it's like I feel like I need a hydrofoil or like a hovercraft or some sort of weird water boat to get to where I'm going because I can't even see the road, the, water, the streets are so wet. But that's enough about that. The weather is typical Maryland, it's unpredictable. Um, you know, had a good night last night, um, definitely a better than average weeknight, which, you know, really worked out in my favor. Pouring rain today, um, airport activity on Gridwise, which is actually one of my favorite apps, um, is, you know, lots of high and low peaks and valleys. So, you know, Friday's a travel day. People fly out on Fridays that have been here in the city all week, but, or fly home on Fridays that have been on the road all week. But with this weather, um, you know, flight-wise, the other app that I've been checking out just since yesterday shows a lot of delays. So, you know, I don't know if the grid-wise data is as um, specific as it needs to be, given the fact that there's significant delays due to weather. So, you know, it, it shows flight departure arrival times, and I think that's where it pulls its data from. However, you know, if there's delays, then all of a sudden those spikes and valleys are gonna be a lot different. So we're gonna go into the city, we're gonna go down to Harbor East. Um, that's where the hotels are, those folks, um, you know, definitely are flying out of town. They're not riding a train or a bus. So I might be able to pick up somebody from there and head to BWI right from there like I did yesterday. I'm hoping to get struck by lightning twice and see how that works. So we'll, uh, we'll just see what happens. You know, my, my goal on this is, it's kind of bright even though it's raining. Um, and my sunglasses are soaking wet from the rain. You know, my goal for tonight is to do over 200. I think it's feasible with the weather. The weather's definitely going to push people into cars that would have been walking around town. And, you know, that's what, uh, that's what we need. That's what those of us that do ride sharing need. We need people to be getting in cars. You know, 70 degrees and, and breezy is not the perfect weather for Uber because then those people to say, oh, I'll walk the two blocks down the harbor instead to, you know, or I'll walk down the street to the pub or the bar and that doesn't help us at all. So I'm gonna need, you know, I'm gonna need some crappy weather for a while to help me, you know, generate some numbers. And it looks like Mother Nature's gonna support me on that because it's supposed to be rainy for the next couple days. So we will see. Um, I'm also curious to see if that, uh, that sneaky lady came back to the airport today because we've gotta be a little bit more vigilant. You know, if that's what was screwing up the queue for the past few days, um, you know, then that explains a lot because, you know, they said she left after my first ride from the airport yesterday. And when I got back and did my second run, it moved very fast. So, you know, perhaps that's what the problem was this whole time. I don't know. Um, I can't say for certain. I just can't. I don't, I don't know. But it makes sense. You know, it definitely fits the bill. So we will see. So I'm gassed up, I've got coffee. Um, so the two main ingredients to get my day started are both present. Um, I am curious to see what happens tonight. For those of you that don't know, um, Slayer, Lamb of God, you know, it's a, those are heavy metal bands um, on, the, on the heavier side of heavy metal bands. You know, they're playing Pier 6, which I don't know if that's gonna be a rained out show, considering that's just a tent setup. Um, some smaller stuff going on in the city. Nothing really significant other than that concert, but it will draw the metalheads out because Slayer is an old school band. Um, and, you know, they can't tour forever. They're kind of like an Iron Maiden or a Megadeth, um, you know, from that genre, the 80s, 80s metal. So we will see what happens there. I think I'll get a little bit of activity out of that, but it's a 7.30 show, which means they won't go on till nine. Um, it'll get out at 11.30, so uh, we'll see in the, later in the evening if I pick up any activity from that. 
the weather is going to be crappy all night. Um, I don't know what that's going to do to the bar scene tonight, but um, you know we're just going to have to play it by ear. You know, be you know be able to think on our feet a little bit and switch things up if we see a change. So that's my plan, guys. I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to get on uh, 83 cruise down through the city, do a lap, and, uh, and then bug out to the airport if I don't see any activity. So we will uh, we'll get going. Wish me luck. Hey guys, it is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. It is the wee hours of Saturday morning. I am actually quitting a little bit early and I'm gonna tell you for why. So my night went similar to yesterday, only without the profitability part. Um, got into the city. My very first ride from Harbor East was all the way down to BWI, which started the night off on a really great note. I'm going over the bridge, so hang on one second. The, um, the little reservoir bridge in Eldersburg from Sykesville. So, okay, so, you know, that was a great trip. My first trip from the airport was into the city you know, 20 something dollars. So, okay, I'm like, I'm at 50 bucks, that's great. I turned on my Uber app, because it was pouring rain, left it on in the city, and I got a bunch of little fares here, there, and everywhere in the city. Started to make my way back down to the airport because it was, um, you know, flights were starting to come in around six, seven o'clock, and I wanted to be down there for those flights. Ended up, um, with another ride from the airport to Towson. And, uh, and that was pretty much where my night fell apart. The, the airport flights just started getting delayed and delayed and delayed. I ended up getting a really shitty ride out of the airport that was only like six minutes. And then it, it to Linthicum Heights, like it was a suburb of the airport. It was like little back streets and I was back in like 10 minutes time. But for some reason, they didn't reset me in the queue and put me at a lower number. They started me right back at the bottom of the list. So I sent them a message, never heard back from Uber support, of course. Um, I cannot wait for them to get a phone number because, you know, when that goes live on August 2nd, that's going to make a real big difference, you know, because that's frustrating. You're supposed to get reset or, you know, go right to the concourse and get another ride when you get a short ride. It was only four dollars. Um, so my last ride brought me up to Towson and that was great. And then, you know, I'm kind of at around $100-ish between Uber and Lyft. I think it's only one ride for Lyft. It was $18 to me. And um, I said, you know what? It's close to quitting time. I left my app on. I did a couple more Uber rides and uh, I got to about $125, $130 with tips. And I just said, you know what? I'm screw it. My eyes are dry from staring out the, you know, the windshield because of the, you know, straining to focus through the rain. My feet are soaking wet from running in puddles with all these Uber Eats um, deliveries. And I'm, I'm just, it's not a great day. It's like, I feel like I need to be in a hydroplane or hydrofoil or, you know, some sort of water boat to navigate these streets and all this water. Um, it's just not pleasant driving, you know, light rain, is not a big deal but pouring down rain where your wipers are on their highest setting or their almost highest setting and you're straining with your eyes to just be able to see the road ahead of you you know that's not enjoyable uber lift driving and for some reason or another despite the fact that it's shitty weather and shitty roads pardon my language um you know customers aren't really tipping too well tonight and that's my biggest concern with Lyft. I'm not a real big fan of Lyft to begin with. Um, it's definitely my reserve, but I don't see the tips that I get with Uber. So, um, you know, so this is just going to be a crappy week. I'm going to just chalk it up as a crappy week. Um, Sunday is going to be okay. The weather's supposed to be nicer. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm ready to boycott the airport because I'm frustrated with it. It's, you know, it's, you have good days and then you have bad days. And it's not as predictable as my city driving that I'm used to. So I might go back to the city on Sunday and just not even fuss with the airport unless I get pulled to it. Um, and then get the hell back out of it quickly if I do. Because sitting for an hour, waiting in queue, 
while I like the social aspect of it, it's not making me enough money. And I'm very much numbers driven in this game. So that's kind of the weird note that I'm ending the night on, guys. But, um, you know, my daughter has something that she wants me to go to tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing that in the morning. Um, so getting a good night's sleep is not a bad thing from that perspective. And then I've got plans in the evening. So, you know, it's, a, it's again, one of those deals where, you know, this is something where you've got to be flexible and be willing to be flexible. And I am. So, um, you know, that's just how we play the game. But next week, I'm definitely going to crush it. Um, I'm going to make up for the fact that this has been kind of a shitty week. And I think I'm going to revisit my original strategy, which is to avoid the hell out of the airport and only go there when I get sucked down there. Because I've been doing a lot better with my city driving lately, and the airport is a trap. It's just a trap for me. I'm not lucky. I don't get these huge rides to Pennsylvania, Hagerstown, um, Arlington, all that often. What I end up getting is a lot of little rides, and it's not profitable for me. Any minute that I'm not driving, I'm wasting money. So... I'm going to leave it at that, guys. This is kind of more of a rant than a wrap-up. I know that's the case, but uh, after today, my feet are wet and cold. My eyes are kind of strained from paying attention. I'm just kind of in a cranky mood. I'm not going to lie. Um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, Jameson, one of the guys that I kind of socialize with at the airport, who actually I like a lot. He's a good guy. You know, him and I have been kind of commiserating about the ups and downs of the airport. Um, it did move a little bit quicker today, despite the setbacks from the airport weather. But, um, you know, still not fast enough to my liking. Still not anywhere near fast enough. So, you know, that's the way I feel about the airport. And those guys that try and make a living solely on airport runs, I, I don't know how they have the patience to do it, because I sure as hell don't. Um, I think it requires a level of patience and tenacity that I just don't have. And I would much rather grind in the city with lots of little fares and, uh, and make my money the way that I'm used to making it over the past couple months. So I've got I've to kind of mental condition myself to get, to get away from the airport and get back out onto the street and you know, maybe set the timer at 30 minutes. And if, after, if I haven't gotten anything at 30 minutes, just bug out. Uh, that might be the smart decision for me. So I'm going to let you guys go. Everybody have a great night. Stay dry in this weather. And I will, uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Take it easy, guys.